I want to start with you. Okay. It takes a very special couple to be able to work together all the time and then go home and be together. What's your vibe like? Just respect. Honestly, that's the thing that respect. does it. It's, it's respect. I couldn't do what he does uh, day in and day out. He couldn't do what I do, and um, I couldn't do it without him. So. Oh, Danny. Yeah. You're a sweetheart. Thanks. <laughs> so sweet. Now I'm listen. An extremely tolerant person too. You know what I mean. <laughs> you get these crazy, right. crazy industry chicks around you. You just have to really flow like water. And they bounce off the walls and all that stuff. Yeah. 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 Thank, thank God for you. Now listen, you're dealing with all of this heavy topic matter during the film, uh, and then you're going home to your own two-year-old, you know, expecting another child. I'm wondering, how do you flip that switch when you get home? You've been through this really contentious relationship with your father, and then you go home with your own son. Does it make you, does it make you cherish parenting a little bit more, playing a role like this? Yeah, it's a, it's a big deal, but often as not, we went home feeling very kind of just satisfied with what we were able to present during the day and you know it's really fun to be able to you know we put on shows and we try to what does Shakespeare say you know hold us for the mirror up to nature you know and um, it's just thrilling congratulations to you both Thank have you. a good night Thanks so much. now uh, congratulations first of all uh, being the gala premiere tonight at TIFF I want to know in this role, it's a very weighty role that you played. I'm wondering how you turn that off at the end of the day, because I know I was with you. I brought the movie home with me when I was done watching it. It was that searing. Right, well, we did it. I haven't seen it yet. Tonight is my first time seeing the film. I've been traveling, and so I'm looking forward to it. But it was a very uh, arduous, uh, in a good way, uh, process, working with the Downies. And with this wonderful cast, it was uh, in a beautifully, beautifully written and smart script. Very, very unique script. Do you usually do that? Do you usually make a full film and then not watch it until it depends. it's released? It depends. Uh, you know, I've been, I've been traveling and uh, doing things. So the, the, I haven't been around when they have the screening. So this will be my first, first time. What's it like being in a cast, working with the, uh, working with Robert Downey Jr., especially since your relationship is so contentious? That's great because uh, he's very talented and uh, he's great to work with. And off off camera, you go, you go to restaurants and he does, gives parties and beautiful functions. He and his wife both are wonderful people to work, wonderful producers to work with. Do you care at all that everybody's talking Oscar, Oscar, Oscar? Well, I've heard every single person well, ask every, you about every movie, it. Every movie that comes up, they do that, but it's fine. Whatever, whatever. So, listen, you have a very uh, interesting role in this film. Uh -huh. Have you seen it? Yeah, I have seen oh, it. Have? Ah, okay, I'm not good. even faking it right now. Oh, good, 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 good. I'm a bad you, faker. I would have figured it out about three sentences later that you were fibbing to me. And I'm also a bad liar, so you oh, yeah, totally okay. would have called yeah, me out on it. Having that. Um, what attracted you to this particular film, other than the fact that, I mean, the, the script obvious. is amazing, yeah. the... The actors, the the cast is incredible. So to I work guess being a baseball player, what attracted him to the Yankees? But uh, just answer anyway, Stax, uh, would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, in addition to the unbelievable cast, the uh, the script was the best script I've ever read. I, I had read it maybe fourth in the row. I was so sick of reading. I read it. I immediately emailed Susan Downey, who produced it, Robert's wife, and just said, "I just love this script. I would like to just be in the background of a scene." And then so that led to me auditioning, and then now I'm here. Did it feel, um, I don't know, like what was the vibe like while you were while we were shooting the movie? Because it's it's heavy. I mean, it's a heavy topic. There's heavy family dysfunction going on. Is it is it moody and brooding? And are you guys able to shut that off when you get off uh, off set? Luckily, the onset vibe did not mirror the the tone of the movie at all. Uh, we all were. I think we were all aware of what a special moment it was for this many great actors, not including myself, but to all come together and work together. I think. It, that, that wasn't lost on anybody. I, you know, I know Downey wanted to work with D'Onofrio and wanted to work with Duvall and Vincent wanted to work with Billy Bob and Billy Bob. You know, it was a very, it was a circle of people who wanted to work with. Uniting them all was they all wanted to work with me. So uh, I'm going to ask actually the obligatory Canada slash Toronto question. How many times have you been here and what do you think? Over the years? Gosh, I've probably been here about 10 times in my lifetime. Yeah. How would you describe this to festival? A lot of films here back in the 80s and 90s, yeah. How would you describe the festival? How is, how is it unique from the other film festivals out there? 
Well, Toronto has always been a good festival. It has been for many years now. It's just a big festival with a lot of great venues and a lot of great places to hang and meet your peers, and it's just so much fun. I love it. I've always loved Toronto Film Festival, always. You are at war with your with your brother. The father yeah. doesn't like the you know the son. There's yeah. a lot of tension. I think that's why we were trying to have a good time, because there were some days that were so intense, you know. So anytime we had a chance to goof and do funny impressions and imitations and make each other laugh, we would do that.